Hi, it's Marcel back here with you from Hilltop Camper and RV, showing you today the Jayco Red Hawk 24B. This is a Class C motorhome with a bunk over cab. And again, I like to always start out first with our uh, Jayco products, them using a one piece fiberglass cap. Folks, I can't stress to you how important this is. If you're out looking at RVs and you see that there's a seam here on each side, run. Seriously, the most damage that your RV is going to take is up here from a storm going down the road that with this all being one piece, there's no way water's getting in this cap. So please take that into account when you're looking at motorhomes. Very important. This is a 2023 Red Hawk. It's on the uh, brand new 7.3 liter V8, 350 horsepower motor. Uh, in the past, they've used the V10. This has more horsepower, better gas mileage. So pretty excited about this new engine that they've been using here on the uh, Jayco products. Come around over to the side, we'll look at a few things here. First, I'd like to just point out that it is a power step, so when you open that door, out comes that step. Very nice to get into the unit because it is kind of a little bit of a step up there. You do see you're going to have a little bit of storage along the side here, and your uh, LP is going to be out here. Back side of your water heater and furnace here, refrigerator here does have outdoor speakers, so you do have outdoor entertainment with a beautiful awning that comes out about eight, nine feet for you. Coming around to the back a little bit here, it does have LED lighting throughout, so very rarely you're ever replacing bulbs on this. It does have a roof ladder, so you can get up there to uh, inspect your roof, check your seams, do any maintenance that's needed, or heck, if you're going to a NASCAR race, pull out your lawn chairs and sit down and watch the race. Over on this side is going to be your compartments for uh, doing your uh, sewer and water and what have you. But here is an outdoor shower. Here's your city water connection. Black tank flush that rinses out your black tank. Your black tank is your toilet water only, so rinses that out. Big reason to have a black tank is, or a flush, is there's a sensor in there that's telling you how full that tank is. Well, if that's getting corroded with toilet paper and solids and what have you, you may get an improper reading. So it's nice to be able to flush that black tank out, giving you a correct reading so you're not overflowing. Again, got some more storage underneath here. Jayco also does what's called uh, J-Ride and J-Ride Plus on the Red Hawks, it's J-Ride. So what Jayco does is when they get this chassis and they have to stretch the drive shaft and add another piece, well, they balance, computer balance those three pieces all as one. They also add Helwig helper springs on the axle for a better ride, keeping you hugging to the road. Uh, there's uh, jounce bumpers in between the build of the frame and the actual box, giving you a quieter ride. And front and rear stabilizer bars are uh, on this as well. So if you're going around a cloverleaf or something, it doesn't feel as tippy on you, you're going across a windy South Dakota or something, it's going to be a lot better handling. We like to say that uh, Jayco Class C is best riding, best handling Class C's on the market. Please come in and test drive one and you'll see for yourself that the J-Ride and the J-Ride Plus does make a huge difference. Now we can go on inside. Oh, one other thing, does come with a generator. You can see the tailpipe here. So there is a generator on board. So dry camping, no problem. You can park yourselves out in the middle of the woods and uh, hang out there for the weekend. The one safety feature is it is a gas generator. It runs off of your fuel tank. So if you get below a quarter of a tank, the generator will not run. And that's just a safety so you don't run out of gas out in the middle of the woods. Come on inside. All right, guys. Now we're inside the Red Hawk 24B. Uh, great size camper, about 26 feet long. So very easy to drive, very, uh, very compact getting down the road. It's got one slide that houses the dinette the bed and your wardrobe and a couple of dresser drawers. So that's your slide that would come in. We'll start up front here. Um, overhead cab bunk rated for 750 pounds. Most competitors are three to 500 pound rating. So keep that in mind, you know, if you uh, got some adult children and what have you, you're gonna want that extra, extra capacity up there. Again, we talked about the Ford, uh, the Ford motor, but again, they got the Sony infotainment center with the big screen. That's your backup camera, that's your GPS, that's everything on there. Using, like GPS, you'd use it through your Android or Apple phone connected through there. Kind of nice, both seats do swivel, so they uh, can face backwards here. 
comes with this nice cushion here to put on the seat so it boosts you up a little bit so your knees aren't in your face from this lip here of the going down into the uh, cab of the unit. So a great, uh, great cab up here. Kitchen area, beautiful kitchen area, nice size counter space. The uh, stove does have a top that you know gets out of your way and can act as a backsplash, but then can also come down to give you more counter space for prepping. You do have the uh, uh, power tower here, so it just pops up, and you got two outlets, a USB port, a USB-C port, and it's also got a, a phone charger right on top that you can just set your phone on right on there and let it charge, so that's kind of slick. Double sink, this is what's called the modern farmhouse. This has gone over very well. The countertop is seamless, so again, no seams for water penetration. Over here we do have our uh, dinette. U-shaped dinette, so plenty of room for the family of four to be sitting around this. One thing Jayco does, seat belts in every seated position. A lot of uh, manufacturers will not put them in rear-facing seats because by law they don't have to. Jayco doesn't want to have you make up your mind which kid's more important that doesn't get a seat belt. So seat belts in every seated position. All right, and a little bit more on the kitchen, guys, that you maybe couldn't see from before, but it is an eight cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. Like I said, you do have some nice storage here. Uh, pull out drawers and some drawers here as well. So nice there. Here, here's your queen bed back here. Uh, very nice size queen bed. Again, a couple nice windows over the bed, giving you some ventilation at night if needed. Beautiful, beautiful back uh, storage cabinet here with four drawers. That is a uh, telescopic ladder. So if you'd like to use that to uh, get anything up on the roof if you don't want to use the roof ladder or <clears throat> anything in here the kids might want to use it to get up onto the bunks up front can certainly use it for that spacious bathroom here guys i mean for a motorhome camper very nice size bathroom good size shower porcelain foot flush toilet uh, nice window in the bathroom bathroom fan and always usually a skylight above the shower and if you can see in there too there's a uh, shower or a rod in the shower that uh, people use to hang things, you know, if they're traveling down the road or letting something dry, what have you. So give you a little more um, usability in the bathroom area besides just going to the bathroom. Last couple of things, guys. Obviously, all of our campers, motorhomes are going to be equipped with air conditioning and heat. This has a 30,000 BTU furnace in it and a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. So any kind of weather, you're going to stay very comfortable in this coach. Thank you again for uh, checking out Hilltop Camper and RV, looking at some of our units. Any further questions, give us a call. We're in Alexandria, Brainerd, Rochester, and right here in Friendly Fridley. My name is Marcel. Would love to work with you. Give us a call. Thank you.